Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This week I'm going to be trying to diagnose what's wrong with my windscreen washer motor. I've got a feeling maybe the seals have gone or perhaps it's just blocked. So I'm going to take the reservoir off of the van and we can have a look at the pump and see if it's blocked up. If not we'll have to get a replacement one. So we can hear that the pump's trying to get screen wash up to the windscreen. We've got plenty of screen wash in the reservoir and it's worth just checking to make sure that the jets aren't blocked up. So just get yourself a sewing needle and poke the jets to make sure that they're clear. In this case, the jets are clear, so we know we've got a problem somewhere closer to the pump. So let's take the reservoir bottle off. There are three bolts which hold the windscreen washer bottle in place. I'm just pointing them out to you now. One of mine's actually missing, it must have rusted away. To make your life a little bit easier, it could be worth draining the screen wash out of the bottle before removing it from the van. It just makes it a little bit lighter. As I remove the bottle from the van, I disconnect the electrical connector for the pump and the small hose which goes up to the windscreen washer jets. The Transit's got a massive screen wash tank and I was hoping to reuse this screen wash, but as you can see here, it's contaminated with uh, some kind of slime or algae, whatever's growing in the screen wash. So I'm not actually going to be reusing this because I don't want to have to redo this job again. Let's do it once, do it properly. Yeah, I reckon that could be the problem. Nasty. Let's go give this a good clean out. This is the windscreen washer motor, and as you can see, this filter screen here is completely blocked up with slime. You just unscrew this. I think we can safely say that slime blocking the filter screen was a problem. So give that filter screen a really good clean and inside the pump as well, just make sure there isn't anything in there. Put that back on the pump. Put the pump back in the bottle. We've got a nice clean screen wash bottle. Let's bolt that back onto the van, reconnect the electrical connector for the pump and the small hose. And I've got some new screen wash here. It's double concentrate. I'm just gonna pour this in and then top the rest up with water. That'll do us. If the washer motor isn't making any noise at all when you push the button, it could be that it's blown a fuse and it looks to be number three down here, 10 amp fuse. So it's worth checking that one. You've checked that the fuse is okay. You push this button here for the washer motor and it's still not making any noise. It could be that the pump's burnt out or possibly this switch isn't working. So it's worth changing the pump first and then if that still hasn't cured it, then you'll have to change this stalk here. To finish up this video, I've got some new wiper blades to put on because as you can see, the rubbers come off on these ones and they don't clear the windscreen properly anymore. These are the replacement wiper blades I'm using, Bosch Super Plus SP22s, they're 550mm, uh, both the same length. Being Bosch, they should be much better quality than the ones that are on here at the moment. I think I only paid a couple of pounds for these ones. 
they've lasted okay considering but i thought i'd go for something a bit better quality so it lasts longer and we don't have to keep replacing the wiper blades Let's do a quick comparison between the old wiper blades and these new Bosch ones. The finish on these Bosch ones is much better. Um, it looks to be a powder coated finish on here, so hopefully they don't go rusty like this within a short period of time. It's got long life rubber on the Bosch ones, whereas this cheap rubber has only lasted a couple of years. It's really straightforward to replace these wiper blades. I mean, it will take you a whole minute. You just Put these out here, pull them back, and then take them off. Put that one in the bin, just get one of our new ones. Put the blade through here. Over the clip. And then pull it back. See, it's easy as that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and it's helped you diagnose and repair your faulty wiper washers. If it has, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you click the little alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And I'll also put links in the description below to any of the parts I've used in this video. And I'm putting together a list on Amazon um, for any Mark 3, 4 and 5 transit parts um, that I've come across. So check it out. It might be of use to you. Everything from door seals, uh, prop shaft centre bearings. You can even get the old type timing belt tensioners on there. They do take a long time to arrive, but if you're planning on keeping your van for a while, it might be worth ordering one now. Thank you for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, take care.